I got this ready heater here that it's a Pro 110, 110,000 BTUs. When I plug it in, all you hear is it humming. So I thought it was locked up motor, which I'm gonna show you today that uh, mine wasn't. I'll show you how to fix it. And we gotta take these five, or four bolts off both sides and they are 516 socket. Make sure this is unplugged when you do it so it's not plugged in. And then both same thing on the other side here. You get them off. four on this side. Don't lose the bolts in there, pretty sure. All right, once you get all eight bolts out, that should come off in this plastic shield. Just set it aside, which just sets like that. Just remember how it goes. Now what I'm talking about right here is the motor, which this was not turning, which it is now because I turned it and I heard something break. Well, when I go, when I plug it in, everything kicks on, but it doesn't get fuel. Back here, there's a forced air heater rotary kit that uh, goes back in here that uh, most likely is broke. So I'm gonna be showing you how to get to that. And then there's four bolts here. It's their 5 sixteenths. There is a gasket back there, so don't lose it, as you can see. And that's, we're just gonna set that to the side. Next, we gotta get these six bolts out here. They're 5 16 socket. These are all the same size bolts, so you don't have to keep them in order. Gotta remember that's where these came from. So we're gonna put shorter bolts in what it is. Let's remind you, this motor just sets in here. The only thing holds that down is when you go bolt your one top shield back on. Now, uh, before you take that last bolt out, we want to take this rubber hose off. So make sure you take that off before you take the last bolt out. I'm sure it won't be in your way. Which I already been in this, and mine was all broke, so it fell apart. All right, so uh, there's these that goes in these grooves here, but first you gotta get this on there. Uh, go ahead and take your plastic piece off or out of there, which you may need a screwdriver or something to push it out. And uh, it may help to sand down that shaft a little bit. So we wanna take this plastic piece right here. We wanna slide it all the way on that shaft as far as we can. Hand. Now, uh, just a reminder, 
that these are very easy to break. So be gentle with them. Don't be forcing them. And this side will be the side that will go in there. So you just got to line these, those plastic tabs right here into these grooves right here. So you just got to be real gentle. Try to find the grooves. And the only reason, like I said, I took the plastic piece off is because I wanted to make sure that I push that plastic piece all the way on there and make sure on there. So you see how it spins. And if it's catching somewhere, you may want to take it back off, try to, but be real careful and sand it down. Which this one isn't catching. Now we want to get our, groove, our little tabs in there. And there should be four of them. So make sure you don't lose them. And they just slide in there like that. They just sat in there. Make sure you put them in the right way. I mean, if you put them this way, you can tell it'll stick out. It can't. So make sure you have them pushed where they're flat, flush with the rotor. Same with that one. And that one, you can see, it's going to drop down, which that's what they're supposed to do. All right, so we got all that in there. Uh, we want to get two bolts. Get your first one started, which is in this hole here. Kind of got to find the holes. The same thing with that one. You got to find them. Now these you don't want too tight. You want to make sure you better spin this fan still. About right there. So you go ahead and do the other ones. Get them in there. Like I said you can't tighten them down too much or it won't spin. Just enough for it, just there. Oh, I tighten that one up too much. So, all right, so make sure, like I said, that spread spins pretty easy like that. Just want to make sure that's not too tight on there. Mine didn't have a gasket or nothing between there. The only gasket I seen was this one. Oop, I dropped my bolt. So we're going to head and tighten these four down. Then while you're at it, there's a rubber hose right here. Go ahead and put that on too. All right, so we got them tightened down now. All right, so make sure uh, there's a gasket in between there. I made a mistake and had to take that apart, put gas back in there. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything put back on. Uh, you have to get everything put back on before you test run it because if, if this shield's off, it would sense it and shut itself back down. 
make sure you get that plastic piece in there. Line them holes up. And like I said, get all these bolts lined up in the holes and get them started. I usually go ahead and do one side at a time. If not, it'll just fall out or you'll just pull out and then you'll fight them or that's work. So I'm going to go ahead and do this other side and get everything lined up. All right, so I got all them tightened down. Uh, make sure you get this put back on before you plug it in. So we're going to plug it in now just to see if it's going to work. I got to adjust some air on it. All right, so I forgot to put a hose on there, so... You probably want to open your door because it probably get really smoky in there for a few seconds for me. And I have some raw fuel that was set in there. And that should be it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.